Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you guys my daytime skincare routine and I'm just going to do some natural makeup as well. Um, I said I was going to do my skincare routine before the summer ends and technically the summer hasn't ended yet so I'm showing you guys. So I will be doing just my daytime skincare routine. I will be doing my nighttime nighttime skincare routine um, at a later day and I am so sorry about the sound quality and like the noise that's going to be in the background in this video there's going to be lots of it so please ignore that sorry there's just some birds outside anyways first thing i do in the morning is i cleanse my face so the cleanser that i use is the low ph good morning gel cleanser from Kazar x it looks like this um i believe there is tea tree oil in here. It smells like tea tree oil. If you don't like the smell of tea tree oil, then you probably won't like this, but honestly, it's not bad. It helps to kind of clear your skin. And before, I remember in junior high and high school, actually before that then too, I wouldn't use a cleanser in the morning. I would just skip it. I would just wash my face with water. That was fine or anything, but I feel like because like for now, I use more of a heavy skincare at nighttime. I want to remove all that skincare and put on a new layer of skincare in the morning. So that's why it's important for me to cleanse my face in the morning. I really like that one. Um, I've been using it for a little bit now. I feel like it's been over a month. Um, before I was using just some random foam cleansers and stuff like that, but foam cleansers can be a little bit more drying, so I opted for this gel cleanser instead. So the next step in my morning skincare routine is this one right here. This is a toner. This is a double lotion. It's called the Yuda Double Lotion from Arborian. This is a Korean skincare brand. As you can see, there is two layers. It's bilipid one, so there's a moisturizing layer and a toner layer, and you're supposed to mix it up like this so invert roll it and stuff like that and you want to mix them together and i just take a toner cotton pad um the one i have been using lately is this one right here this one is from muji this is the cut cotton so um it's pretty thick cotton and it's very soft on the skin. So the one before I was using was from Face Shop. It looks like this. And as if you noticed, um, I cut them in half actually, cause I'm cheap and I want to save money. So yeah, um, I cut these cotton sheets in half as well. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm applying this onto my face. Um, this one right here is a double lotion. So basically, what that means is it has a moisturizing layer and property to it um, sometimes some toners especially alcohol toners which you should not use are very drying to the skin but um, this one right here is very moisturizing and it's great for morning time because I do not use a very heavy moisturizer in the morning time so I want to use something more moisturizing for my toner and my other skincare steps when applying toner you just want to use upwards motions and then i always tend to go down my neck as well as you can see here my skin got kind of irritated after i wash my face um my skin gets irritated easily so especially if you touch it and stuff like that so my skin type actually is um, normal combination so i get an oily t-zone but I have normal skin right here it tends to be more drier right here in the winter time, um, but it is kind of sensitive. So if I like touch my skin or if I put on certain products, it will turn red. Um, as you can see, when I put on my toner, my skin got a little bit more red. Every time I touch my face, it's like that. I don't know. It's just developed like that in the past couple of years or so. Like my skin before, I would say was like not too, too sensitive, but now I feel like it's even more sensitive. I don't know. It's because like, I'm aging or I don't know <laughs> honestly I don't and I'm so dumb I'm going to actually put up my bangs so I don't have to keep touching them so the next step in my skincare routine I use this right here this is the Maycoop raw sauce 
So I use this like an essence before a like a serum or something like that. Um, this one right here is to help um, bring back moisture into the skin. Basically, this is maple water. So I put in like four drops or something, just an estimation. And then just rub it in between my hands and just pat it on my face. And again, always just swiping upwards. And then, but for the neck, I always like to swipe up and down like this, like up, then down. So moving on to serum. Um, the serum that I've been using is this Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. This one has vitamin C in it. It's to help brighten the skin and basically regenerate my skin. Because basically vitamin C helps with like cell generation and stuff like that and turnover. It also says that it has L-absorbic acid to help protect the skin from UV damage. Um, I've been using this one just because my skin looks dull pretty quickly um, and I do freckle easily especially if I go into the sun. Um, I don't know if you can see on camera right now but I do have a lot of like old sunspots from when I was a child and I would go outside and I wouldn't wear sunscreen because I'm a terrible child. So anyways, just grabbing this, I just put three to four drops in here, rub it in between my hands again, and then just pat. And it's very important that if you are using this product in the daytime, you, that you do use some sunscreen because vitamin C will make your skin a little bit more sensitive to the sun. And the sun is very damaging, so you wanna make sure you protect your skin. And when you apply this product, it actually feels a little bit warm on your skin. Anything that you use, you always make sure you bring it down to your neck because your neck shows signs of aging first. So the next product I'm gonna be using is this Biosense Squalene Peptide Eye Gel. Um, this one is supposed to help with dark circles and puffiness and stuff like that. I feel like almost any eye cream and stuff doesn't really help with my dark circles. Yes, it can help with puffiness, but my dark circles are, I swear, like kind of hereditary, so it's impossible for me to get rid of these. So yeah, I feel like because like this area right here is a little bit more sunken in, I feel like that's why I get like dark circles too. So anyways, I take one pump on my ring finger like this, and I just split it between my two fingers like that, and then I just apply it underneath my eyes. And because right now it's still technically summertime and it's not too, too dry yet, so it's not like winter yet right here. So right now I've been using Cetaphil, this one right here, this is the moisturizing lotion to moisturize my skin. And this is great for sensitive skin, but then again, if you want something that is more thick and you want something that is more anti-aging or has more benefits, then this probably isn't for you. Um, I will probably make like a winter daytime and nighttime skincare routine, but in the winter time, I will be using this one right here actually. I sometimes use this at nighttime. This is the Belief uh, Moisturizing Balm. This stuff is so good. This stuff comes from the same company as the Face Shop. They carry it in the Face Shop, I believe. This stuff is really, really good as well. I really love this stuff because again, in the wintertime, my skin tends to just get like super unbalanced and dry, so I have to use something more heavy. But in the summertime, in the daytime, I do use this. So I just put like a pump of it into my hand and same as before, rub between my fingers and just apply. And I feel like my skin isn't in the best day right now because I just got my period last week and so my skin was kind of breaking out so I was breaking out right here and like on my cheek and around my nose that's where I tend to break out like here here and here I don't tend to break out like on like my jaw or anything I just tend to break out like the oily t-zone spots 
regardless of like how well I do my skincare, I do still break out because of hormones and that's totally normal and that's totally fine. I don't have like hormonal acne, acne or anything like that where I like break out like crazy. I just get a couple pimples here and there. I feel like during your period is normal anyways if you have like a menstrual cycle or something like that. Um, it's normal and it's unavoidable that you do have a couple pimples but it's totally fine. No one's skin is going to be like pimple free all the time. That's unrealistic. So the last step in my skincare routine is sunscreen and the one I've been using lately is Bior UV Perfect Milk. Right, yeah, Perfect Milk um, SPF Plus, PA Plus 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 Plus. That's a lot of pluses so that means it has UVA and UVB protection. This right here is actually really good. You just gotta shake it up before you use it. And it's very liquidy and light, which I love. Um, it does have a little bit of an alcohol smell to it, so if you're very sensitive to alcohol, I will probably recommend you not to use this. But the alcohol evaporates really quickly, I think. And I picked this one because it has more of a physical sunscreen rather than a chemical sunscreen. It still has some chemical sunscreen in there, but I just chose this anyways. It's okay if it has a little bit of chemical sunscreen. Usually the ones that cause flashback in photos is when you use chemical sunscreen, so that's why uh, physical sunscreen is a little bit better for that. But sometimes physical sunscreens are a little bit more like gooey and thick. But this one is actually really nice. And don't forget about your neck again. I'm just going to put some more down my neck. So I just started using the Biore one like not too long ago. But the one I was using before this was actually this one right here. This is from Privacy. This is a UV face mist in 50 plus PA++ as well. This one is a UV mist. So it's a spray on sunscreen. My friend got this for me when she was in Japan. Um, this one is also really good to use too. It just feels really nice and light on the skin. But this one right here, the Bior UV Perfect Milk, is just really nice because it gives a better finish, I feel, than the other one. The other one's a little bit more sticky, but then again, this one is good for if you are wearing makeup and you need to just reapply sunscreen, you can just spray it on top. And something that I always do is make sure I do moisturize my lips, um, whether it be just like a lip balm or a lip oil. So the one that I tend to use during daytime and nighttime is the Burt's Bees Bees Wax Lip Balm with vitamin E and peppermint. This one here comes in like a bulk pack, so it's cheaper to buy anyways. <laughs> so we are going to go into the makeup portion of this video today and we are going to just be doing some very light natural makeup because I feel like it. I don't want to wear heavy makeup today. So... We're just going to start off with concealer, I guess. We're going to be using the True Match Concealer today. And I am in the shade W123 Fair Light. And I'm just putting this underneath my eyes. And around my nose because I am very red around there. On the pimples. Anywhere where I have redness, essentially. And this is supposed to be super fast and simple makeup, so we're just gonna take a cushion puff. And I'm using the one from April Skin. I'm just gonna blend it out. And normally I would like to use a, like, sponge. Like the diamond sponge or like a beauty blender. But I'm too lazy to go wet that right now, so you're gonna have to deal with this. And if you also want, like, a better application, like, oh my god, I forgot the name of it. Almost like a beauty blender, what you can do actually is I like to spray my puff with some mist right here. This is the event facial mist that I like to use and you can just like take that and like blend out everything. It just gives it a more dewy natural coverage. But keep in mind that if you do spray your sponge or like your puff with mist, it does sheer out your coverage. Going into here, we're just gonna take some of this cushion and apply that to our skin. I'm layering very little amounts of it because I don't want like a heavy skin day. We're gonna take this baby pink powder right here and we're just gonna apply it all over my face. 
And when you apply powder, you don't want to rub it in, you just want to pat it in. We're gonna take the Puff to Cheek from Majolica Majorca. This is in the color PK301. I tend to go for this color anyways for natural everyday makeup. Put that right here. I'm like doing my steps like really weirdly. Anyway, so I'm taking this lip balm from Fresh and it's this color right here. And this is a very moisturizing lip balm that has a little bit of color in it. So it's good for like a natural look. Okay, we're gonna do brows real quick. And because lately I've been into very full natural brows, like I don't really care about my brows anymore. Um, as in like I don't groom them as much because I just let them grow in. Which is actually nice because I don't have to worry about filling my brows in as much. So basically it's super simple. Just like grab this and just mostly just fill in the ends because that's where I need it more. Before I do my lashes and my eyes and stuff like that, I'm gonna apply some highlighter actually. So this just gives your skin a more of like a nice kiss and a glow. So what I'm just gonna do is just put this right here. And I'm gonna use this actually like eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take my ring finger and put these on my eyes. When you're lazy, you don't want to use too many products, so that's what I've been into lately is just using that highlight as an eyeshadow. See, there you go. So you have a pop of highlight, which makes you look nice and healthy, but you also have some color on your lids as well. So the last step for this natural makeup right here is to curl your lashes and put on mascara. So this is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was super simple and I hope you guys also enjoyed my skincare routine as well. I um, hope you guys found some useful information from it. But again, please do not take my uh, skincare routine and just like take it fully and apply it to your own because my skin is different than your skin. Um, please take my skincare routine like with a grain of salt then. Do your own research before getting these products and trying on your own skin. But anyways, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!